Imagine you're on a plane, 40,000 feet in there, when suddenly, both engines fail. The captain comes on the speaker and says, we have no power. Most pilots would call it the end. But one man turned the impossible into history. It was July 23, 1983. Air Canada Flight 143 was cruising from Montreal to Edmonton. The passengers were relaxed, flight attendants serving drinks, everything seemed normal. But in the cockpit, Captain Robert Pearson noticed something strange. Warning lights flickered, gauges didn't make sense. Then, without warning, both engines died. The plane went silent. No roaring engines. Just the eerie whistle of wind over the wings. The pilots quickly realized the terrifying truth. The plane was out of fuel. A mistake during refueling meant they had barely half of what they needed. At 40,000 feet, with no engines, the Boeing 767 had just become the world's largest glider. Panic spread among passengers. Some screamed, others prayed. Flight attendants tried to calm them, but even they were terrified. Most pilots would have no idea what to do. But Pearson had a unique skill he was a glider pilot in his free time. He knew how to use the air itself to stay aloft. Working with First Officer Maurice Quintel, they calculated how far they could glide. Their only hope was to reach a decommissioned airbase in Gimli, Manitoba. But there was a problem. Gimli was no longer an airport. It had been converted into a car racing track. And worse on that day, a race was happening. Families, children, cars, all on the runway, with no engines, no second chances.